nation, we're pretty good at rowing, especially at the Olympics. Team GB has won 68 medals, including a whopping 31 golds. Two of those gold medals belong to this rather impressive chap, Alex Gregory. As part of the men's Cotsless Four, he won gold in both London and Rio. He's six foot six tall and is mostly made of pure muscle. He retired from competition rowing straight after the Rio Games, but he's agreed to race one more time against me. Five foot not much, 54 kilograms after a slice of cake and more than a bit worried. He's bluffing massive. So, Alex, um, how long have you been rowing for? Uh, about 16 years. OK. I am a complete novice. I've actually not even been on a rowing machine before. <laughs> yeah, I can give you some pointers on it. The sequence we say to ourselves in our minds is legs, body, arms. Legs, a bit like head, shoulders, knees and toes. Yeah. Just the rose version. Exactly. And it's got to be smooth and powerful. You're spot on. Oh, my God. The first That's movement natural. has to be with your legs. Okay. They're the strongest muscles in the body, so you're trying to accelerate the boat with your legs. But leave your arms out straight yep. for as long as possible. Yep. And then bring the body through and then the arms through at the last And minute. how far back am I going like that? Just, you're about right there. So you don't want to fall back into a too weaker position. Yeah. You just want to stay sitting in a strong position and accelerate through. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, nice. You're a bit of a natural. You, you worried? Should we do a race? <laughs> yes, let's do a race. Not the race yet, just a friendly warm-up on the rowing machines and, as Alex is bigger, better and faster than me, go! go. I'm going to try and cover 1,000 metres before he completes 1,500. Do you have a breathing technique for this? Breathing really helps with your rhythm, actually, and it'll get harder. We're going for quite a long way here. 160 metres! What are you on? 200. <laughs> The Nordic track comes with a whole heap of interactive training sessions where a coach pops up on the 22-inch touchscreen and shouts at you. Legs first, then reach. Encouragingly. Tired already. We only burned 20 calories. We're not even quarter of the way yet. Come on, legs. You can get out on the water as well, albeit virtually, because this comes with lots of pre-loaded workouts on lakes and rivers around the world. So it's quite hard to be going this fast and to talk. So, give me a life story, Alex, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> you can't trick me like that. <laughs> In basic mode, you row around a 400 metre course, but if you use the Google Maps function, you can row anywhere in the world, as long as the location is on Google's database. Now's the time, start sprinting. OK, sprint! Take up the pace. Maximum speed! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, she's the winner! Thank you. Thank you. I mean, technically I won that race, uh, but you did manage to go 400 metres more than me, which is very, very impressive. This machine is a really good training tool, but when we're out on the water, there's a whole load of other things to contend with. Ah, yes, the water aspect of rowing. If I'm going to stand a chance of beating Alex on the water... This is your craft. So my you, craft. You like take it. it this end. Yes. Learning to row in a natural boat is rather important. Yeah, I'll hold it. If you go and get the blades. Blades. Oars. Oars. The oars. Get the oars. You need them. Yeah, that is, you need them. That is true. OK. Blades. Oh! So if we fall in, you'll jump in and save me? Joking? <laughs> no. <laughs> you save yourself, I think. Okay. You'll be fine. You're not going to fall in. Well, you sound confident on that. I'm in the boat, so and it doesn't the... feel that secure. A single skull, which is apparently what you call the boat I'm in, is just over eight meters long, about thirty centimeters wide, and weighs just fourteen kilograms. This is designed to go as fast as possible in a straight line. It's not built for stability. Not built for stability. Fabulous. Oh! Ah! Because I've been fully briefed on the capsize drill, I'm a confident swimmer and a qualified lifesaver was close by at all times, I didn't wear a life vest. But anyone going rowing for the first time should check out the standard safety advice before going on the water. Just get comfortable. Move your hands up and down. Feel that balance. 
much did you scream when you were on your bike? <laughs> Go for it. I don't even know which way my oars are meant to be oaring. Other way. Other way. Uh, Other way. Yeah, that's it. Now you can take a stroke. Good. <laughs> You're doing great. Ah! She is actually doing really well for the first time ever. Yeah, I'm good. You didn't swallow any water, did you? How do you get back in the boat? It's tricky. <laughs> yes, amazing. <laughs> I can't even remember what to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> now it's capsized. I think you will have to swim it back. So we were going to have a rowing race and I've just proven that I really couldn't row. Perfect. If I was going to beat you in a race, I'm going to have to find something more gadgety. It's me and this boat. We're really not friends. To find the best tech solution to beat an Olympic rower, I'm using the best resource I have, the Gadget Show archives. A couple of years ago, I went to Sweden to test out the Radon G2X, a battery-powered jet board. And although its internal jet propulsion motor gave it some oomph, I'm going to need more power. Wow! There are some other contenders that both use water jet power from a connected personal watercraft. All I've got to do is learn to harness their power. Speedy. So I think I should give it a go. Let's do this. First up is the hoverboard. Invented in 2014, it's basically a flying jet-powered surfboard. I'm starting off pretty well. Yeah! She's surfing! Skateboarding! I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> I did say starting. While this hoverboard has a whopping top speed of 25 miles per hour, my chances of staying on it long enough to finish a race are pretty slim. <laughs> <laughs> this is the JetLev, a water-powered jetpack which is connected to a jet ski with a 220 horsepower four-stroke engine which forces water through a pipe and out of some jets on my back, propelling you as high as 10 metres in the air. I am a superhero. I knew it. So the JetLev was tricky. Oh, 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 oh. But after 10, 15 minutes, I could almost do the whole lake without falling in. Yeah, to get you in speed now. This is what I need. For the sake of this challenge, I think I'm going to have to go with the jet lev. Beautiful. Let's hope the jet lev's 20 miles per hour top speed and my ability to fly it is enough to beat Olympic rower Alex. <laughs> Bring it on. Race day. And as I get strapped into my jet lev, I honestly have no idea whether I can beat him. Honestly. Double Olympic gold medalist Alex Gregory is getting ready for his first race since the Rio Olympics. I don't know what this machine is going to do. I've never seen one before. I really do actually want to beat him. I don't know how good at rowing I am anymore. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Excited. Excited. Georgie. Hello. How are you on your steering? Absolutely awful. It's all right, I've written a will. We're at one end of the lake and it's a 500 metre straight sprint to the finish line at the other end. It's my jet ski powered high pressure waterborne machine versus Alex's pure muscle. Bizarre situation. We don't do this in rowing. We've never done this before. Good luck. You too, pal. I genuinely didn't know what was going to happen. Attention! Go! <laughs> While Alex powers off the line... Here we go! I'm already losing time waiting for my water jets to kick in. Go forward! Go forward! Alex had a beautiful beginning, really got out ahead. We've got to get up to a good start here. He's taking the lead. We'll try and get ahead. Well, that's what you want in a rowing race. You're looking at your opposition if you're ahead. So I could see where she was coming, I could relax. OK, come on, Alex, I'm coming for you, mate. Come and get me! But my jetpack can generate upwards of 700 foot-pounds of thrust, so it's not long before I'm hot on his heels. If you go higher, you use the power to go up. So ideally, you want to be sort of half submerged in the water the whole time. That's the way you reach maximum speed. You're so 
Keep it here as it is. Do what you want. Come on. She's picking up speed. Oh, no. One of my biggest worries going into the race is that I would actually take him out. We're gaining on him. Can you imagine if I took out a double gold medalist? That'd be awful. We're gaining on him. After a rocky start, we're gaining on him. By the halfway point, I've not only caught Alex up, but I'm actually taking the lead. How are you going so fast? Come on. Oh, no. She's Come getting on. faster. I could feel my limbs seizing up and growing heavy. Come on. I had to hold on. Right, I've got to take this up now. I'm absolutely flying. Alex, he's trained for that moment, though, isn't he? This is the last little bit you've really got to go hard for. It. Come on, then. Then in the last 100 metres... Let's sprint. ..the Olympic champion takes over. He did a really good job starting to come back. Still, I'm pushing this jet lev as hard as I can. Come on, Gadget! <laughs> it's harder than it looks, I tell you. Concentrate, Oh, my legs. No, he's getting faster. And there's not a lot I can do at that point, because if I'm going full pelt, I'm going full pelt. With the finish line in sight, all I can do is power on and pray for victory. Come on. Rowing looks easy, but actually you're using 80% of your muscles in the body every stroke. And I had to sprint to keep up with her and push through the pain. <laughs> it's neck and neck. Can she take the win? Can she do it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that was so good! That was so exciting! That was a close margin. Who won? Oh, I always think I won, but I think that's probably pretty close. You can put a penny between us. I think I beat him. Did I beat him? I think we're going to have to go and like watch the footage back. Alex, the moment of truth. Here we go, slow mo. Oh, it's going to be oh, close. Oh. Wow, that couldn't be closer. Oh. What do you think? Do you think that's me? I think I genuinely have to watch that again. I think it's you. I think the front part of your body was across that line first. I reckon you got it. Yeah.